Hello everyone. Today's session is going to be about installing CenterStack Enterprise Server on Windows 8.1 machine. We still recommend installing CenterStack Enterprise Server on server platform such as Windows 2012 or 2012 R2 in a production environment. But let's say you're just checking out the features, um, want to have a development server, so you can just check it out. And it doesn't hurt to just install CenterStack Enterprise Server on Windows 8.1 because it's you know, much easier to get compared to a full-blown Windows 2012 server machine. So to get started, you just go to the partner portal and then you can download the uh, installer package. And as you can see here, I have the Windows 8.1 Pro. Uh, you probably still need to have the Pro because it still um, requires the Internet Information Server. So to get started, you just install the uh, installer. So installer is going to install everything from begin to the end. And everything from begin to end is probably going to take about 30 minutes. Um, to cut the video short, you know, there's a long period of time they just installing stuff, so we will kind of just cut the video short. So the whole length of the video is going to be about uh, five to six minutes, so it's much shorter than, than the actual installation time. But you know, think about it's an enterprise server installing a server platform in a uh, a server solution in a you know 30 minutes, so that's still pretty fast. So at the current stage, you sit back and wait for the different stages to finish. Um, so there are different stages such as install SQL Express all in one instance and config the Internet Information Web Server, download the installer package and then config the, the web application and set up the database and those kind of tasks on each different line items and you can see the progress bar going from left to right and then moved from line to line and then further down. So uh, eventually it's going to hit 100% and then it's going to, at the end of it, it's going to prompt you for a reboot. So even though we make it uh, possible to install on a client platform uh, like Windows 8.1 to check out the features, like for development server, we are still recommending installing it on a clean machine, you know, just get a clean, um, Windows 8.1 virtual machine and that's going to make the insta installation much easier. Uh, you don't want to have you know database conflict or you want to ha you don't want to have um, web application conflict if you're installing into an existing platform. It's still doable but you may need to know what you are doing. Um, so now we are at the end of the installation so a reboot is required so let's just reboot and then after the reboot, we're going to go to the configuration page. The configuration page will show up um, automatically, but let's say um, if you just log in after the restart, you may need to wait for a little, little, you know, a little while for the the configuration page to show up. Um, so you, you know, after reboot, you just log in, and after lo logging, you just you know sit back and wait for the configuration page to show up, it will come, you know, it will come up. Um, so, uh, so probably just log in and, and wait for it and, um, and then we should be ready to go. So now at the first installation screen and uh, that's the root admin. So the root admin we re recommend is not an Active Directory user. And because the reason it's not an, you know, we recommend it's not an Active Directory user because later on you may want to install and set up Active Directory configurations. So you don't want to create circular dependencies. And after you log in, and so this is a sign it's already installed. So installation finished, configura configuration finished, and everything is ready to go. And because we picked the service provider edition, so you launched into the cluster manager. So you can see the worker nodes and those kind of you know properties you can manage. But you can always switch into the my files view 
um, if it's you know steel blue is not the th theme you like you can always uh, switch to a different theme like the blue theme um, so now it's already and then you can pop into the management console to set up the users active directories and everything so everything's ready to go thank you